morning, everybody. As always, got my dark chocolate tea with me to start my day, but I also dressed up before I put on my makeup, which is kind of a risky move for me because I am very messy. However, we'll be okay. We'll be okay. I'm gonna force myself to be okay. Today is a Tuesday. I know it's gonna start off really, really good because I already got an order from <laughs> our dark chocolate, blah, blah, our dark chocolate tea business. So I use a, what is it called, Weebly as our website builder. And you know, they also, uh, I have the app for it. So every time somebody makes an order, uh, it makes that sound that's like ka-ching. And it makes me feel so good every single time I hear it. I'm just gonna pin my hair back with this. I didn't wanna put my hair all the way up today. Although, today is a hair wash day. I have been using rosemary tea, uh, which is basically rosemary stalks and leaves that have been steeping in hot, hot water for a long time. You could do it for however long you want, but it has been my one of like my favorite ways to um, add like just softness to my hair. I realize how soft it makes it every time um, I get out of the shower and it dries down. I'm like, whoa, my hair feels really, really soft. So today we're gonna use, actually, we're gonna, we're gonna use the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint because I want a little bit, ooh, I want a little bit more coverage today. And we're gonna be going out and about delivering orders to USPS. But I'm gonna start off today with the, ooh, Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Brow Wax. I've actually been looking forward to making these videos. Um, I don't know how many people watch them, but it's been a really good start to my day to sit down and kind of talk about what I'm expecting myself to do as well as kind of just reflect on the day before it even starts. So kind of prep myself for it and not be entirely alone, even though in my room right now, it's just me and the camera. But I really look forward to these things. I think when I know it's gonna be a good day, I, uh, I can't sleep the night before. I know that's kind of, it almost is like, what do you mean by that? But because I'm so excited about the next day, I will have a hard time sleeping. And that's exactly what happened last night. I was already super tired. I had a burger um, with like caramelized onions and oh my God, all this good stuff. And a gluten-free bun because I have gluten allergies. And I felt really heavy afterwards. And I remember telling my boyfriend like, hey, I'm just going to go to bed. I'm not feeling up to anything today and it was already 7 30 so i just laid in bed and i was just kind of scrolling on my phone i was thinking maybe i should read but of course i ended up not because my eyes were already tired but then right when i was about to fall asleep i started getting really excited for tomorrow i'm like oh my god i can work on my business i can make content i can um do all of these things but i have to wait eight hours <laughs> So the eight hours has come, ladies and gentlemen. The eight hours has come. For anybody who's thinking of buying the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint, I will say that it's not like a long, it stays on long, but you really need to set it like with, with powder because I can see how it gets really oily. If you already have oily skin um, like me, I have it in certain parts, but I'm gonna take a foundation brush and then just start swiping this and pat, I pat actually around my acne scars so that it gets in instead of me just like swiping over it. But I love this thing. Just be warned that, you know, if because this has no fragrance in it, you're really smelling all the, the, I don't want to say chemicals, but all the ingredients that make this up and I know a lot of people turn this away because they don't like the smell of it and for me I just tell myself that even though it's not the most pleasant smelling thing you know it doesn't smell like roses or daisies or berries or anything 
Um, it's got a lot of great skin benefits. And this is how I would expect things to smell without fragrances. Like, especially, I don't know. I don't know if there's talc in this. I have, I, I already threw out the box, which had the ingredient list on it, but there's SPF in it. And there's um, just a lot of great, things for your skin so not everything can smell amazing especially if you have sensitive skin like me especially if you have um tend to have eczema breakouts kind of like what I have on my hand um so just be warned that you know it's not the most pleasant smelling thing but it is something that the more you use it you will get used to it more okay so then I'm gonna go in with my Beauty Blender. I don't really know the name of this thing, but it's from Ulta and it's not actually, like it's shaped like it. And it came in an egg carton, which, let me go get it really quick. I'll show you. <laughs> it came in this egg carton and there was six of them. So I already used a few, but it. I thought the packaging was super cute and I've I needed something that was similar to it, but you know, $30, I don't know. There's, I could get different things to put on my face and adapt the brushes instead of the actual thing. But I'm gonna take this and just push it into my skin. And mind you, it might pick up some of that excess product so I don't do too much of it. And that's why I dampen it first so that it's not just gonna suck up everything. And then what I'm gonna do next is of course take our Tarte Shape Tape in 35N, which is medium. I used to always get uh, colors that were too, either too deep or too light for me. Um, Cause I didn't know how to properly do it. We're gonna do this type of concealer today. We're doing little dots and Yesterday I tried it for the first time, blending it with a brush instead of a bl the beauty blender because, I don't know, I, I saw, I saw um, what's his name, Patrick, not Patrick Starr, mm. Patrick Ta. And there's something about these uh, makeup artists that work with like these beautiful, you know, models and these big people that you can see them really as artists when they're when they're working because they are so gentle and every movement has purpose. It's not just like swipe, 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 swipe. Okay, you're good. So I'm actually gonna bring this down and around. I'm gonna go like this. Okay. But um, today I'm wearing all my gold jewelry. This one I got from DBL uh, Jewelry. It's a dragon and it is so freaking sick. Uh, it is a Filipina owned business and I think she's located in New York and I, she's young too. She's like 21, I think. I saw her on TikTok and I just love her. She's so, she's like the cutest thing ever. So I got some of her jewelry and then this is that's where this ring came from as well. This chain, I f I found it in my mom's room, dude. My if you haven't checked your mom's closet, do it. <laughs> Chances are there's some things in there that are considered vintage now and you could totally just like pull them off now. But this was one of the things when I was helping her, uh we were going through our donation piles uh during the summer and I was like, yo, you haven't been wearing this, mom. Uh, mind if I, mind if I cut in? <laughs> and she's like, oh, okay, yeah, sure. She see, I, I haven't been wearing this lately. So it's part of my ensemble now. And then these two rings were part of, uh, I made an unboxing video the other day about what I got from Nordstrom for my 25th birthday. And, you know, I wanted to level up my ring game. So that is why I got two sleek gold rings and they're from Madewell. Taking in my damp beauty blender again and patting it in as well. 
what I'm excited for today. I got to do some things for the business and I've also been touching up on my resume and um, at first I didn't want to touch my resume because I was like, it's not like I'm going back into accounting. Uh, and yeah, I used to be a tax accountant and then I started this business and the podcast and all that stuff. So things have changed. <laughs> Ooh, you know what? I realized I was about to go in with this. However, I want to try going in with the airbrush Charlotte Tillsbury one. This is also part of my unboxing video that I did. It was only these two things. There were supposed to be three, but they canceled it on me. So I'm going to go in with the usual brush that I take for the banana, uh, the banana light for revolution. I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tillsbury. This thing. So fine. And then set the concealer areas and then I'm also going to set the areas around my acne scars just to see how that goes so patting it and I'm patting from the center and then kind of like lightly dragging out and I'm going to do the same thing up here and then as you can see the brow wax that I put on it never stays all the way up would I repurchase that thing again? I don't I don't know, probably not, because I think drugstore things do the same. But I do like that this area doesn't just drop, it stays. So I'm looking a little pale right now, but we're gonna fix that with our next step, which is gonna be the concealer things. So I'm gonna lightly pat it in here as well. And we still need to do this cream part. So that's enough of you. Let's go in with our Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. Um, as soon as I take it out, I swipe it on the edge because there's a lot of product on here. And then the smallest, slightest dab of a movement. Take my broken brush. I still have the handle. I'm always telling myself, am I actually going to put this together or should I really just buy it, buy a new one? I, I could super glue it <laughs> and then I'm just going to stamp it along this area. There we go. And then pick up a little bit more, spread it out. And then again on this side. This weekend is Halloween. Leave me a comment down below what you're going to be for Halloween. Um, I am going to be Princess Kita of At from Atlantis. And I have a boyfriend. And he is going to be Milo. So it's going to be... <laughs> I'm really excited for this one. I love dressing up for Halloween. Um, but I haven't been going all out until this past couple of years. Because I've always been surrounded with people who are kind of like... And I'm not going to go all out. I'll, I'll put like the bare minimum in and then, you know, whatever. But I love just getting dressed up and um, throw it, you know, go into those types of events and parties. So I'm very excited for this one. I got the wig and everything. The only thing I didn't get is the, I think, white or blue eye contacts. Because Princess Kita does have, um, you know, those color eyes. And I had never worn glasses or contacts in my life and I don't want to, I don't want to like F up my eyes. I'm just afraid that something like that is going to happen. I'm going to brush a little bit on my ears, take it down here. And then before I go in with powder, I'm just going to push everything in and make sure it's decent. Okay. So now that that's done, I think before I go in with my mineralized skin finish, I do want to go in with a little bit, I know I use the Charlotte Tillsbury, but there's certain areas that I think, oh, should I use this? Ah, why not? Um, yesterday was my first time using the Charlotte Tillsbury and I love that thing. I think I'm going to keep that in my compact areas or in my compact, <laughs> in my purse. But what I meant was I'm going to press these into my acne scars so that it kind of blurs it out a little bit. And then I like how shiny my forehead is right now, but I know it's going to get shinier. 
because I just have that natural oil production. I'll pat this over any areas because again, Ilia is wonderful, but you really need to put on powder to make sure, you know, it doesn't keep moving. And I'm going to be wearing my mask and stuff today. So, okay, cool. A little bit under here and with the stuff that kind of fell around my arm, my thing, I'm just going to lightly dust it off. I don't really bake my face because I feel like that um, when I've tried it in the past, it just makes my face look cakey and I do brush it off after like a couple minutes or five minutes. But even when I put setting spray, <laughs> when I put setting spray on, uh, it just, it still looks dry. So here we go with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in dark, excuse me. I'm just gonna take my fluffy brush, pick up product, and then go over those areas where we put the concealer. The sculpting one, the sculpting concealer, the dark one. Speaking of dark one, I think I mentioned this in another video, but I finished I finished Shadow and Bone, the, the trilogy, not the other, the Six of Crows one, but it was really good. Like I got chills on the last three, um, like the last third of the book. It was just, I was like, oh my God, what's gonna happen? Oh no, ah, it's just, I won't spoil it at all, but it was so freaking good. Okay, after I put that all over my face, I'm gonna take the NARS Orgasm, <laughs> NARS Orgasm blush. This is the travel size, which is why it's so cute and so small. But I never really like loud br blush. I've just never been super comfortable with it um, because I used to have hyperpigmentation. So we're gonna just sweep this on Give us a little bit of a of a natural blush. See, it doesn't really pop out as much on my skin tone, which I like. It's just very, very subtle. Um, and then I'll just put a little bit of it like right under my eyes so that it's bl it blends in. And then with the excess, blow it in random places. Okay. So I don't. I'll probably do my eyebrows today, but let's. I'm not going to wear eyeliner, but I will wear mascara today. So um, this is a pretty, I don't want to say elaborate makeup thing, but there's not all days where I sit down and take um, this much time to do like a full face of makeup. Sometimes I'll just do concealer and stuff and it takes me about 15 to 20, 15 to 20 minutes. But yeah, I'm excited to make more videos today. You know what I've been scared of is posting more on TikTok because on TikTok, my niche is very big for accountants because I used to make a lot of memes um, when I did work at a big four. So I attracted that audience and I found that, you know, it was it was really fun. I had, a, oh my God, something's in my eye. And of course I stamped it, but... I had a lot of fun. There's uh, a lot of people that follow, followed me because of that. And because I think I'm so sucked into that accounting niche, it's been hard to kind of break out of it and um, do other things. Like I know inevitably people are gonna unfollow because they're not interested in either, let's say makeup or outfits or talking about my gluten-free, soy-free allergies and what I like to use as replacements and cooking and all of these things that make me me. So I'm expecting people to drop off, but I guess it's still, I don't know if discouraging is the right word for it, but it is different than, it, it makes it kind of harder to to want to try something when, of course, TikTok knows the algorithm you're supposed to be on. So when you're talking about something else, you know, they don't push it out as much. Um, so it's like you're starting all over again. So, Maybe I should just do it and say F it. I've been doing a little bit here and there, talking about my product, Cacao by Dar. Um, so we'll see. 
Um, as you've noticed, I do not use lipstick. I have eczema that, that um, pops up around my mouth from time to time, usually because of my allergies, my food allergies. So I don't like to put a lot of things that irritate my skin. And I found the only lip product, I talk about this all the time, the only lip product, like, li like a lip balm or even a lip gloss that doesn't upset my skin is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. And because I love this so much, this is like my third bottle and I have a fourth one in my purse. Um, the other one that I got from them is their lip gloss and I got two of them. I got this one is pear and the other one is berry and it's shocked me. Also, yes, I'm going to apply this to my lip because I found that this doesn't irritate it like some lipsticks do. But um, it shocked me because these are scented. These have fragrance in it and usually when you have sensitive skin, when you have eczema they always your doctors always tell you stay away from everything fragrance related because it's just going to make you break out a little bit more um so it's interesting how this is still it, it works on me i think the formula is just so good and the fragrance isn't mad irritating on my skin so it makes it possible um and then what i'm going to do this is the last thing that i'm going to do i'm just gonna go in on the tail end of my eyebrows. Again, keeping it very natural. I remember when I used to do, oh my God, it's still in my eye. <laughs> when I used to do my eyebrows, you know, in high school and stuff, that's when blocky eyebrows were a thing. Oh my gosh. But I like to keep, I, I have pretty good uh, thick eyebrows. Not insanely thick, but thick enough. And that is it. That's the finished look, everybody. I'm really excited to start my day. I hope you are too. It's a beautiful Tuesday morning here. And, um, you know, if you ever want to see more content like this or have questions about anything lifestyle related, leave it down in the comments or follow me on Instagram. It's Darlene National, uh, at Darlene National. Send me a DM. I'd love to chat with you guys. And let me do a little, a little outfit thing for you. I'm wearing these pants that I got from Zara and this top I got from Abercrombie & Fitch. It's actually a bodysuit and I have, I made a video about it. I'll also link it down below and I already told you where I got my jewelry from. So thank you for watching everybody. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and if you haven't already, leave a comment down below, press like, let me know what else you want to see and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!